So hi, I'm Rosie. Uh, I'm an account manager at Someone and I've been here for six months. And I'm Lockett, a project manager, and I've been here for just over two years. We're actually really involved. Um, I don't think it's the same in, in many agencies, but the, I mean, I'm sure account, account managers and directors tend to do um, proposals, but we're kind of empowered from the start to, to write proposals for new business pitches. Yeah. And it's as soon as, as soon as they get a call to say, um, we're interested in meeting you, we might have a project for you, we'll, we'll meet them straight away when the directors do, um, get a feel for the project and meet the client or potential client. And then from there, when they send us a brief, we will do the full, I mean, the account managers will do the full proposal. So step-by-step -step project plan of what we think the project um, breaks down into and what feels logical and then costing it up. So we do the whole, the whole pitch process, um, which I, I'm not sure other agencies maybe get involved with. I think it tends to stick with the directors at that stage, but um, here they're, they're sort of really keen to get everybody on board uh, at the start, which is great. And it just makes you feel a lot more um, part, it makes you feel get a lot more understanding of the project because you understood it from the beginning but also feel a lot more part of it and um, own, you own it a bit more which is, which is nice yeah I mean we, we would run the proposal past other people <laughs> we, we work together as well the accounts team we sort of check each other's proposals and ask each other advice we look back at previous proposals but no two proposals are the same yeah. so you kind of have to tailor each one obviously based on the brief but we help each other out and the directors will sign it off, but we do write mm. a lot of it. Again, each one's quite different. Yeah. Some pitches are more straightforward, you write the proposal and you put some creds together. Some pitches require a few meetings, lots of chemistry, um, creative pitch sometimes. Each one's very different. Mm. We do do quite a lot of pitching as well as yeah. an agency. Um, we we don't say no a lot so if somebody came with a project no matter how big or small or something that we don't have that much experience in but obviously can help with we will always give it a go and mm -hmm. come back with a logical project plan costs and, and do as much as we can to help them and win the project and, and start the project together so we do a lot of we spend a lot of our time writing proposals and doing pitches um, and meeting clients and sort of those chemistry meetings. So uh, probably as a, as a whole, we do it quite a lot, but we don't spend hours and hours and days and days on maybe one particular one. But again, they're all, they fluctuate. They're all slightly different. Uh, well, we work all in the same studio. Rosie and I and all of the other account managers sit on the end of each sort of pod. So we're working next to all the designers. We're not in a different room somewhere else. Mm -hmm. We're not separated, so we can speak to them face to face. Or there's, um, we use Slack, which is the channel. Channel? What is it? It's a messaging system. Or yeah. Like a, yeah. Um, yeah, we have cha uh, channels within the messaging system for each project, maybe, and you speak to the designers, and if they've got a problem, mm -hmm. they'll come and speak to you. Lots of regular catch ups. Yeah. And I think when you do the proposal and your project plan, you, you set out the, you set out the stages, and mm -hmm. the timeline. So we'd never do it without thinking when do we need to get. A particular phase or stage of a project done yeah. and that it becomes sort of the backbone of how you run the project obviously mm. it will fluctuate and it will vary depending on what happens during the project but um, that's a good basis to, to sort of have um, when you're running it. It's usually timings you, you do the best you can to map it out and meet the deadline in the brief but more often yeah. than not, situations change, the client's not there when you need sign off or, yeah. you know, they've designed. Or they need something quickly, so yeah. they need it by the next day, which is completely possible, but obviously everyone's scheduled on other work. So we do as much as we can to make it to make it work, um, but that's probably the biggest challenge, new, t new t deadlines looming and things like that. Remain calm, communicate with your team as much as you can. Um, everybody's in it together, you're not in it on yeah. your own. Speak to your designers, speak to your clients, who are often very understanding as well. So 
I had to do it today. I said, we need a little bit extra time. Is that okay? Yeah, sure, fine. Mm. Take as much, you know. Do it, like They trust us that we're doing a good job. We're not taking a long time on purpose. Yeah, your client isn't your enemy. Your client's working yeah. with you, as is the directors and the designers. So as long as you, as long as you understand that, I think that's quite a big step to get past. Mm -hmm. If you're running a project, you feel like all the pressure and all of the, if you don't meet a deadline, if the creative work isn't up to scratch, or if something's just falling through, it feels very much like it's on your shoulders, but actually it's not. There's a full team behind you, yeah. and everyone's in the same boat, and everybody feels the same responsibility, and that's really, that is really key, and mm -hmm. I think that's probably the advice you'd have. Make sure your team are in on it with you. Write a list. Mm, yeah, a tick list. <laughs> Not a day goes by where I don't write a list. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just write everything down and that helps me not to forget and keep plates spinning. Yeah, write everything down. Also, um, I, I print out all my timelines for my projects um, and I will tick off the day because I'll, I'll know exactly what I need to be doing on that day, whether it's in design or I have a meeting coming up. Um, and I find that quite useful, just to have it physically there, um, instead of having it on screen and mucking it up. That helps me. Yeah, that's a good one. I might start doing that. Yeah, have it.